Okay, time for an update. It's been a little over a week, I think, since my last video. Um, I was working, and I didn't start my term technically until May 1st, so I didn't figure there was much to say during that time. Um, so I basically registered for my classes at like 12.30 a.m. on May 1st, and uh, I was taking biochem, stats, the like, informatics class basically, and um, uh, it's like 8.20 is the class, and that's like the live video one. Uh, so I think those are the first four I'm taking. Um, and so I came home Friday, I worked Thursday night into Friday morning. Came home, studied for biochem because I've been studying for it for the prior like two weeks basically, and took it and passed, which was great. So first day of the term, I already have biochem done, which I know a lot of people have issues with. So it was cool to get that out of the way. Um, and then I took stats, the pre-assessment on that, and. Um, I think I did okay on it. I was pretty distracted watching TV and stuff while I was doing it, so it wasn't like a ton of focus. But I still did okay on it. And I don't know, I'm kind of a numbers kind of person anyways. Um, but I think the first like three parts of it is like basically basic math and algebra and multiplication and stuff I did really well on. And there was some other stuff like regression analysis and those things um, that were a little more difficult, um, at least initially. Um, one thing that was nice about the course is there's not like, it's not super in-depth for stats like I've taken in the past. Um, there's no like P hat or Z star or confidence intervals, nothing like that. Um, it's basically just like regression analysis. So you look at a number or a, like a scatter plot basically. And it says, you know, you look at the, the points and you kind of determine if there's like a strong correlation or not or you know how close it is from negative one to one sort of a thing so it's not too bad uh so i studied for that a bit um and so that was saturday friday saturday i don't even remember today's sunday so yeah yesterday saturday i took that away um and passed that one as well um so two classes done in two days i'd say that's a pretty good rate um so for the first two just with the whole COVID thing going on, I guess, there are not as many like proctored videos. So the first two were recorded videos, um, which for my biochem is really frustrating because you basically have to get everything set up in the program online within 10 minutes or else your exam code doesn't work. And so it took me like 45 minutes, honestly, to get the first test going, which was Kind of annoying so i was a little frustrated going into that test i probably could have done a little better but i passed so i don't really care um but with the stats it was flawless uh, i've scheduled my exam um which you can do with if it's uh, just recorded so they basically look at it later to see make sure you didn't cheat or whatever um you can basically schedule it for any time and then you can reschedule it really easily. So if you're ready to go like right now, you can just schedule it and take it right now kind of a thing versus having to find a proctor available to take the test on. Um, so yeah, I got those two classes done. And then I started studying that like, it's like informatics, like information technology. Um, it's pretty dry, honestly. Um, it is an area that I'm possibly interested in going into after I'm done working in the ER. Um, at least maybe doing part-time, just kind of the, the overlay of uh, computer technology and nursing seems kind of interesting. Um, so I took the PA for that one and I passed, not like by a lot, but it was like under competent. Um, so I did okay on it. And, but there's a lot of things that were like different acts, like kind of like HIPAA related things you have to kind of know about. Um, so it wasn't horrible. I probably could have taken the OA and passed it, but I needed to study a little more for it. Um, so I went through the PA and looked at all the questions I got wrong and just reviewed a little bit more. Um, there's like a lot of like cohorts for that. 
which I am honestly not going to spend like days going through. I don't know. This didn't seem like it was worth it to me. Um, there was a link to like 30 different sets of like quiz questions basically at the end of it. And uh, each one had about five or six questions, which I thought were helpful. And honestly, a few of them looked kind of familiar to what I saw in the OA. Um, I only did probably like five or six of those practice quiz sections. Um, but I'd recommend that if you're having, if you have issues with the PA or understanding the stuff, it can kind of help um, prepare you for it. So anyway, um, still recovering from my night shift schedule. So I kind of took a nap later yesterday and then fell asleep kind of early in the evening. I got up to go to bed at like three and couldn't really go to sleep. So I got up around four am and did some reviewing i went through the practice pa again or the practice assessment again um and reviewed a study there's like a study guide under files if you join the facebook group um so i went through all that and that was pretty helpful and then i decided to just go for the oa and um so for that one it had me download zoom and i was kind of like hmm this is a little different so then I got it installed and then I heard someone like talk and I was like, okay. And it was like actually a live proctor, which was really weird. I was not expecting that. It kind of threw me off. Um, you know, my wife was sleeping, so I was trying not to wake her up. And uh, so I got it set up and they had me do all the normal stuff, show the room and all that, which I did for the other non-live just the recorded one. You still have to do all that stuff. Um, but it was just a little weird. And then just an FYI, uh, during any OA, you can press take a break. There's like a button down below. Um, but if you do that, you can't go to any questions previously. Like you can't go back and change your answer. You can look at the questions, but you can't change the answers. Um, and also if you're on a question and you have not answered it and you press take a break, you're not able to answer that question. Um, so that's what kind of happened to me because some stuff was going on. So I hit take a break real quick and then, um, I, it was like 15 seconds, but then I was not able to answer that question. So that's one that I automatically missed, which was kind of annoying, but I figured I would be okay. And I was kind of hoping I wouldn't miss it by just one question anyways. Um, but just a heads up. So if something's going on, if you have a kid or someone knocks at the door, you can always hit take a break real quick. Um, but I would say just answer the question before you do that, otherwise you're not gonna be able to get back to it. Okay, so at this point I just have um, C820, which is the online video, like live series sort of a thing. There's basically five class classes you have to go to and they are all scheduled out and you can't accelerate through it just as, as the classes come up, um, that's pretty much it. Um, so those are scheduled to finish on May 19th. So today's May 3rd right now. Um, so basically, I can't, I don't think I'm technically able to sign up for any new courses to accelerate um, until that one is done. However, someone in the Facebook group suggested, um, there's obviously several classes with papers um, that I could start on those. Um, and then also the health assessment, which is basically just a video of you doing a health assessment, I think. I'm sure there's more to the course than that. Um, but basically between now and May 19th, I can uh, start on those um, and just work my way through it. Um, I feel like I am going pretty fast through the program. Obviously three courses in three days is probably not normal. And I wouldn't expect most people to do that, but it's clearly able to happen. So um, I have 13 classes total. I kind of already forgot. Um, and I've completed three of them already. Kind of three, at least two of the harder ones, stats and biochem. I think a lot of people don't look forward to that. I know prior to starting um, this program, those are kind of the two classes that were kind of making me not want to take it. But honestly, those two classes are not that bad. It's not like you're taking like an actual full term of biochem. 
Um, there's not like homework. There's nothing like that for that or stats. It's basically like, do you understand the material? And then you take the OA. And then if you pass it, you pass it. Um, and if you don't pass it the first time, you study. I think there's some remediation they have you do um, just to make sure you understand the material. Then you can take it again. If you don't pass it again, um, there's probably more remediation to do. And then you have to pay $60 to retest after that. But so far, I haven't had to do that. So that's great. Um, so I'm hoping to... I talked to my mentor and I'm hoping that she can maybe get me into another class this week since I'm so far ahead of schedule. I have literally still 26 weeks left in this term and I finished three of the classes um, and one more I can't accelerate in. So I'm kind of hoping maybe they can make an exception. Um, if not, I'll basically just have all my other, a lot of the other courses pretty much done um, come May 19th or whenever I can finish the other course um, and then turn in a bunch of papers or whatever I can whatever class I need to um, sign up for just burn through that one pretty quick so basically um, I'll be in a similar situation as I was a couple weeks ago um, where I registered um, but I wasn't actually able to take the classes um, but I was able to prepare for them like biochem I studied for like two weeks for that it's not like I didn't study at all and I passed it so um, there's lots of resources in the Facebook group, in the Facebook biochem group too specifically. Um, under the files, there's some like good study stuff, and I watched all the cohort videos, all the recorded ones, um, which I would recommend to do. Um, and the same with stats as well. Um, but yeah, I will continue to be making updates to these videos, uh, series at least. Um, so I'll probably do one in another week or so. Um, it's more of uh, what's going on with the courses rather than a fixed like every Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, like uploading a video. Um, like maybe when I finish a course, I'll do an update, or if I'm taking a while on one, I can do an update. Um, but otherwise, yeah, if you guys have questions, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, see you guys around.